Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Tu Wen. I'm a PhD student from City University of Hong Kong. My supervisor is Shen Li. Um, she cannot to attend to this conference due to some internet issues, so I'm here to present our work. Um, today, my topic is experience and challenge to implement the IPT in China. Uh, very good. Uh, first, I will introduce uh, the research background, research programs, objectives, and scope. Then I will go to a little review and the research method. Uh, finally, I will uh, discuss the research planning, uh, also the community part. Well, uh, I want to start with these two figures. Uh, from this figure, we can see that uh, in the last decade, uh, the total output value of Chinese construction has been uh, increasing steadily. Um, uh, but have, uh, however, in the last three years, the increased rate has been much slower, and uh, especially the labor productivity, we can see that there is even some decrease uh, in age. Well, except uh, the productivity uh, of the Chinese uh, construction industry suffer from the because the proverbial scale uh, and the poor relationship between the project participants. Uh, well, uh, IPT is structured to address the problems that are mentioned in the last uh, slides. Uh, and uh, many IPT projects have been adopted in the US and the evidence has shown that these projects might or even exceeded the owner's expectations with respect to budget, schedule, product quality, and sustainability. Uh, however, in China, just less research has been conducted uh, on IPD adoption. Uh, so, the objective is to investigate the main barriers and the challenges that prevent IPD adoption in China. Well, Nanjing City was selected uh, due to that uh, it is the representative of Chinese cities that, exper that experienced the first urban development. Just, uh, here, this is, uh, this is a picture of Nanjing. And, uh, and both private and public sectors are included in this study. <laughs> About uh, IPD definition, mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, uh, well, about 2003, uh, the uh, IP term was first used by the company West Group Air Condition and Climbing. Then, in the IPD projects, the cycle land the owner has spent to optimize the uh, project interest. And then, after that, the third house has successfully completed uh, some IPD projects. Uh, well, the latest definition is from AIA and AICC. Based on the trade review, there are seven main IPD characteristics. Um, here I want to uh, mention another term IPDs. Uh, IPDs is a project that uh, has some IPD characteristics, but not all of them. And uh, especially the multi party agreement, they, they, the, in, the, in the IPDs, they, the, participant, the project participants uh, don't enter into the a uh, multi party contract. Uh, so, the survey method that we used is the face to face interview. Well, these interviews was carried, uh, were carried out uh, during last December, and uh, the questions were uh, divided into three parts. The first, uh, uh, the first part is related to the background information about the, the, the respondents. Uh, then they discussed uh, uh, the IPT elements that had been used in China, also the main challenges to IPT adoption. Now, uh, about the sample selection, we connected to the, uh, the interviews through our personal uh, network. Well, this is the sample characteristics. We can see that uh, two of the uh, eight interviews are academia and six of them are industry participants. Mm, uh, another 
uh, that I want to mention um, is that uh, half of the interviewers have more than 10 years work experience in China. Well, this, uh, this table is about uh, IP adoption in China. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, there are two uh, IP elements, early involvement of key participants and the use of them is the uh, two uh, most, we can say, most uh, commonly used elements. Uh, uh, however, these uh, interviews also mentioned that uh, the, the contractors that were involved uh, in the design stage, they, they didn't uh, uh, participate in the following constructing stage. Uh, and the, the, the beam is mainly used to, uh, to solve the technical problems. They, they, I mean, among, uh, between them, they don't share the, the beam information. Um, about uh, the, these two contractual elements, multi party agreement and the uh, liability waiver, uh, has not been used. Uh, and about the shared risk and the reverse, I, I, I want to mention an interesting story that uh, was told by an owner. Uh, he said that he was involved in a project that uh, the uh, technology sharing of architect uh, was, was used in their project. So he thought that there is another type of shared risk and reverse. Uh, but the main barriers to IP adoption, first uh, is the legal barrier. Well, um, uh, project manager mentioned that uh, it is uh, not easy to get uh, the contractors and the suppliers into the design state because it is uh, against uh, the public bidding uh, law and uh, also only two party contracts uh, is allowed uh, in China. Uh, and, uh, about the of the lack of owner's willingness. And they, talk, uh, they, they talked uh, that uh, because uh, the owner didn't want to share risk and reverse with the non-owner participant, so the owner is not, uh, is not willing to, uh, to, to be part of the uh, RPT projects. Uh, and then about the government's, uh, government support, an engineer mentioned that uh, uh, he, he gave an example of PPP uh, in China. He said that uh, one main reason that uh, PPP has become very popular in China recently uh, is, <coughs> is the government support. So if they cannot have the government support, uh, it's not, it is not easy. And about uh, uh, the trust among project, uh, Parties uh, said that the the uh, currently the status of owners and non-owners they are not equal. So um, they, even if the contractors or the suppliers they have some good ideas, maybe uh, the owner they don't accept it because they don't trust each other. And uh, uh, another one is about the IPD experts in China. Uh, one academia uh, he said uh, he said that. Uh, uh, presently, there are, there are few researchers that conduct IP development uh, uh, researches. Uh, and uh, then this, uh, this leads to that uh, it is difficult to conduct uh, IPD education. Um, so so in, uh, in the future projects, the graduate engineering, they also don't have the IP development uh, variants. Uh, the last one is about the technical variant. So in this study, we can see that the level of IPD adoption <coughs> is still low in China. Uh, however, um, um, the IPD is, uh, is emerging. And, uh, and about the main barriers, uh, the legal issue is trust among two parties and the lack of owner, uh, owner's willingness is the main challenge to IPD use in China. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you.